Well, chaps, what is the point? And if that hasn't deterred you, I don't know what will. My uh, customary every four day walk into town. You know, it's not even a ten minute walk to get there. Just, it's self defeating. I don't know, I thought social distancing that if you know, you saw people, you stopped or whatever. I mean, in Morrison's, I, there's no one on the door to, you know, because they're meant to be restricting the flow of people in, like, you know, quantities within the shop. And I'm trying to get down and around aisles. I'll stop for people and they just stand there. People stand next to me. They come out with trolleys and you're trying to walk around. And then uh, I had gone to Smith's on the high street and there's a guy in there going through to reading the new, going through, turning pages in the newspaper, licking his fingers, touching his face. You don't know. If he's sanitised, that sounds wrong. Guy walking down the street. <coughs> another guy. Thousands of people, it seems, uptown for a lockdown. The main road. Uh, that go The Oxford Road, it's called. Funny enough, because it goes to Oxford. Thousands of cars. And I'm exaggerating, I know, probably about. But enough to, you know... I keep saying, you know. Fuck, I never did it on a bus. I mean, just what is the effing point? But um, I, when I walked into Morrison's, I thought to myself, well, you know, uh, I've got a problem, probably. So, nice bottle of wine to do my Bond refuse, you know, Shea Hilly, trying out to do Pish. And um, it's the Jacobs Creek Merlot 2019. It's going to be my first foray south of the Hemis south of the equator, with all due deference to my Australian comrades. I like how it says enjoy your favourite pasta. You try and find pasta in this stupid town, honestly. It's, um... Let's stick that there. Uh, it's... <laughs> that works better than up here, actually, doesn't it? Hang on. I just don't... I just... I don't want to leave the house now. Bloody imbeciles. And you just want to shout and scream and punch somebody in a flaming face or something. <sighs> I mean, it just... It defies... What am I looking for? It defies... <laughs> Belief, personally, I've got the prime minister saying that. You know, thank you for. But no, it's going to crack sooner than later. I think we've got another week and a half week to go for a review. Two week, I don't know. It's all today's a Wednesday. It doesn't feel like a Wednesday. The train station had nobody on the platform at all. No, right, it was almost. Uh, it would have been the ten eighteen train, so the morning rush would have died down. But I've used that train before on a weekday, and it's get it's busy. You know, not standing room only, but it gets busy. Um, oh, and we had that close flyby in the asteroid. Clearly nothing's happened unless it was later in the day. You know, I, I, go, I mean, the Times had it on Saturday saying, oh, the asteroid's passing by us on Wednesday. And I thought, no, if not nothing of it. So I thought I'd try and share the story, because not everyone reads the Times. And uh, apparently we had three... <laughs> We had three asteroids come past us on Monday, and this one today. And I forget what it's called. Apparently this one was found in um, 1998, I think it was. Uh, they're known as a near-Earth uh, object or whatever. And uh, the article, I, it was the Daily Mirror's article, but they were quoting NASA uh, saying, these ones won't hit, but we it could happen in the near future. Apparently, there's meant to be two strikes in a century because the last one was that one that disintegrated over Russia ten or so years ago and caused windows to shatter. And that was a suitcase compared to what these asteroids are. And there's something like 2,000 near Earth objects, which is reassuring. I was thinking to myself, though, what if, say, it like in the film Meteor and Deep Impact and Armageddon and all this nonsense? And all those awful straight to DVD late afternoon Channel 5 TV movies. We say find an asteroid called, uh, called, uh, Pennsylvania 65000. 
and uh, NASA turn around and go, right, there's an asteroid on collision with Earth. It's X size. It will leave a, a crater the size of New York City. It could throw enough dust into the air to sort of block out sunlight for a year or two, or it will cause a nuclear winter that will last a year. We'll be okay afterwards, but it's going to kill a lot of people. Or it could be an extinction level event. We don't know. Everyone starts freaking out. Governments start saying we should deal with it. Well, what if we had the governments we have now? you telling me that the likes of Donald Trump et al. are going to club together to defeat this thing? Trump will make it about himself. He'll complain about his, his TV ratings. will go through the roof. He'll be sarcastic about everything. He'll ignore the experts. I don't care anymore. Fuck it. No one watches these anyway. I'm not going to get into the Times newspaper any time soon, so... Alright, that's your lot.